Hello watchers, today we are going to take a look at Project Shasta by Adobe and especially their new free enhance tool which is meant to do noise removal and studio quality voice cleanup for whichever kind of voice clip you throw at it. It's free, so why not take a look at it and give it a try and we will be looking at the side by side comparison that I created for you in this video. So. Let's not wait any longer and check it out. First of all, I'm going to play you a unprocessed recording of me speaking in my usual recording environment that I use for my videos as well. And I will be showing you that so that you get an overview of what the tool does and how my original recording setup sounds if I don't put any effects on it. I'm sitting here in a quite reverberant room. I've got a server rack next to me, which is quite loud and, you know, listen for yourself. I'm sitting in a semi-treated room right now. Semi-treated, because my window is closed. I could have opened that as well, but I thought this would be enough for demonstration purposes. I'm sitting in a room next to a quite active server rack, which is running and is reading and writing data from time to time. And this is quite unreliable. So not a constant background noise that I could treat easily. And I also got some reverb going on here. And from time to time, my neighbors upstairs will go around and it might be audible depending on what they do. So. This is a little demonstration and recording for Project Shasta by Adobe. Their new free noise removal tool, which you can use on the website, as I will be demonstrating in my next video. And this will be material for a side-by-side -side comparison between the original and the processed result of Project Shasta. So, hope you enjoy. Thank you for listening. Well. Now let's go to the website of Project Shasta, which is now called Adobe Express Podcast. You can find the link to the website in the video description, but I can spell it for you real quick as well. It's Shasta, S-H-A-S-T-A dot Adobe, A-D-O-B-E dot com slash enhance, E-N-H-A-N-C-E. And on the website, you need to create an account that is required because otherwise you cannot convert your clips. And after doing that, which is really easy to do even without Seidel help, you can upload your WAV or MP3 file with a maximum duration of an hour. And be warned, it's going to take some time to process. My little sample, which is not even a minute long, took about two minutes to actually process on their website. And after doing that, you will get a side-by-side -side comparison where you can listen to the unprocessed audio and toggle a checkbox to get an idea of the processed audio and download your processed audio. All of that is easily doable without any sided help. The entire website is totally accessible. It's really just hitting a button, opening the usual file selection box, selecting the file that you want to process, and everything else will be read aloud by your screen reader of choice on this website. We are back on Reaper, and now let's listen to the same audio clip that I've just played to you, but processed through Adobe's Shasta enhancement tool. I'm sitting in a semi-treated room right now. Semi-treated, because my window is closed. I could have opened that as well, but I thought this would be enough for demonstration purposes. I'm sitting in a room next to a quite active server rack, which is running, and is reading and writing data from time to time, and this is quite unreliable. So not a constant background noise that I could treat easily. And I also got some reverb going on here. And from time to time, my neighbors upstairs will go around and might be audible depending on what they do. So this is a little demonstration and recording for Project Shasta by Adobe. Their new free noise removal tool which you can use on the website, as I will be demonstrating in my next video. And this would be material for a side-by-side -side comparison between the original and the processed result of Project Shasta. So, hope you enjoy. Thank you for listening.
So now we've got an idea how this might sound. And now we will go through this one more time, doing a step by step comparison, toggling between the different recordings in between while playing. And after that, I will discuss my findings so far with you for a really quick overview of what I think this tool can do, what it does really well, what it doesn't do really well. Here we go. Let's start with your unprocessed audio. I'm sitting in a semi treated room right now. Semi-treated, because my window was closed. I could have opened that as well, but I thought this would be enough for demonstration purposes. I'm sitting in a room next to a quite active server rack, which is running and is reading and writing data from time to time. And this is quite unreliable. So not a constant background noise that I could treat easily. And I also got some reverb going on here. And from time to time, my neighbors upstairs will go around and it might be audible depending on what they do. So this is a little demonstration a recording for Project Shasta by Adobe. It's a new free noise removal tool, which you can use on the website, as I will be demonstrating in my next video. And this will be material for a side-by-side -side comparison between the original and the processed result of Project Shasta. So, hope you enjoy. Thank you for listening. So now I've got an idea how this sounds and here are my findings. I really like the sound of the result. It's really crisp and clean. You didn't notice that I actually had to turn up the volume on my own recording, but it was really required. So what Shasta does, it's, it automatically normalizes your audio and peaks it at zero, I guess. It probably even compresses it. I don't know if they actually want this all the time because I want to have as much control as possible. And this basically takes control out of my hands, but it's kind of nice, especially if you're not experienced with audio processing and everything. Shasta tries to do everything for you. So another thing that I kind of like is how it gets rid of the reverb. I've not found any tool out there yet which does it so well. I've tried the usual isotope stuff that is basically professional standard. I've tried D-Room by Accentize, which is really, really great, but none of those have removed my reverb, which is not too intense, but it's definitely audible, as well as Project Shasta did. This is really awesome. I'd really love to get a plugin which does it, maybe even a paid one. Absolutely happy to pay for this, which does it as well. Same for the background noise. It totally got rid of the background noise. Although I have a few tools which could do it just the same way. Like for example, Clarity VX Pro by Waves. But really well done. Here are the not so great things about Shasta. The noise gate is set too high for my taste. I usually like a more realistic recording. And in my case, Project Shasta got rid of every breath sounds within my recording, which is usually not what you want, especially if you're working in a voice acting environment or something like that, because a part of the human voice is the breath and getting rid of that is not really what I like to do. If that is, however, not a problem for you, then be free and go ahead. I'd really love to get, for example, a drop down where you can configure my gate freely on their website so that I get my breaths back or maybe they will optimize the algorithm to not get rid of my breath sounds, whatever. But I wouldn't want to release a video without any breath sounds. So that's something that I consider bad in this case. I also found out that, especially if you didn't notice this and try to go back to my side-by-side -side comparison, especially for my voice, Shasta got rid of a lot of high frequencies. So I haven't found a reliable way to dial them back in via EQing and something like that. I probably have to experiment more with this, but I can definitely hear that it got rid of those. It sounds a bit like one of those phone conversation like effects where it got rid of a few of the high frequencies. The low frequencies, however, are quite crisp and clean. So that's probably something that could be fixed with an EQ, but I would love to see improvements on that end as well. And then again, guys, it's free. You need to process one hour at a time. So if you've got something longer that you want to process, then you need to split it up. But other than that, this tool is free. So go ahead, create an account, give it a try. It's really worth it. And that's already it for this video. If you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel, leave a like for the video, comment below the video. If you've got any questions or findings on your own, follow me on Twitter and check out the next video that will be released next Monday. So until then. Bye-bye, guys.